A. Let us talk about ontology again. This time, let us look at some lesser-known deities, beginning with the Aztec ontology. But before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, also share this video as well. Now, in a vibrant yet often somber tapestry of Aztec ontology, Mictlantecuhtli reigns as the formidable god of the dead. Proceeding over Mictlan, the deepest part of the underworld. By the way, his name translates to Lord of Mictlan, and conveys his dominion over this realm, where the souls of the deceased undertake a challenging journey toward final rest. Mictlan is not merely a place of darkness and despair, but a realm of immense significance, where all. Well, almost all, except those who died in battle or childbirth, would eventually descend. The journey to Mictlan is lasting stunningly four years, involved traversing obstacles such as vast rivers and mountain ranges, and was believed to be a reflection of the hardships faced in life. Mictlan Tecuhtli himself is often depicted with a skeletal body. Adorned with owl feathers, of course, also a necklace of human eyeballs, embodying the decay associated with death, but also the authority of his rule. His appearance is stark, designed to remind the Aztecs of the inevitability of death and the importance of honoring those who have passed. As a deity, Mictlantecuhtli's role extends beyond merely overseeing the dead. He is a guardian of bones, the physical remnants of life, and a god who ensures the continuation of life cycles. His worship was marked by rituals that, how could it be different, involved bloodletting and offerings, practices that meant to appease his formidable nature and secure safe passage for the souls of the dead. Sounds familiar, right? Now. Mictecacuato, known as the Lady of Death, is a central figure in Aztec mythology, reigning alongside her husband, Mictlantecuhtli, over the underworld realm of Mictlan. As the queen of this deep and vast domain, she plays a crucial role in the journey of the soul to enter her realm, ensuring their safe passage and eventual rest. Her portrayal. Often skeletal-like, her husband, and adorned with regal attire, typical of Aztec nobility, and of course it reflects also her authority and the reverence with which she was regarded. Mictecacuatl's role goes beyond mere oversight. She is a guardian of bones, the physical remains that are cherished and revered as seeds for new life in Aztec culture. Mictecacuatl's responsibilities include proceeding over the ancient festivals of the dead, which have evolved into the modern Día de los Muertos celebrations. These festivals, marked by vibrant decorations, offerings, and the celebration of life's continuity, are testament to her enduring influence. And during these times. It is believed that she grants the dead leave to return to the earthly realm once more to visit their loved ones, illustrating her role as a mediator between the worlds of the living and the dead. And here we have it again, a mediator. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together. We will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.